Hey, good news, everyone. Graduation rates are in for the class of 2023. They are up, according to the Nevada Department of Education. The That's rate raised news. from 81.3% last year to 81.5% this year. Wow. Congrats, guys. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, the national average is 88%. So <laughs> we're going to circle part. back and see what we can do. All right, you <laughs> yeah. go get them, boys. Uh, Henderson, okay, you guys are getting a new casino. Uh, Inspirata there, that whole site, 49-acre site. Uh, the Planning Commission gave the thumbs up uh, yesterday. And now that's on to the city council next month for final approval. Once that happens, that thing can get built. And it's going to look like Durango's really nice. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a second phase of Durango that's going to start pretty quickly after uh -huh. the first. Um, but like Inspirata is like essentially like another Red Rock. Wow. It's going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, congratulations to you. That's going to look beautiful. Bowling from the start. Especially because it's so beautiful over there. It's very, very far from me. It's so beautiful. And it is almost like their own little community, so they for sure do need like a yeah. casino where they don't have to drive far to. I mean, South Point is close, I guess. South Point M, yeah, M's right there, and you got yeah. you know Green Valley, but yeah, they're they're gonna be uh, set up pretty nice there. Uh, I wish, like, I don't know, there's places I would live if I didn't have to drive inland for this gig. Mm -hmm. Like, if 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 they let me telecommute, I would live on Mount Charleston in a second or Boulder City. Mm -hmm. In a second. I was just walking around Boulder City. I'm like, gosh, I love Boulder it Boulder City's so cute. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. I love it. Nice and quiet. No drama. Yeah. Beautiful day. Uh, there was a crash on the F1 track in the Las Vegas Strip yesterday, but it was not a race car. It was an SUV driven into a barrier near the fountains at Caesars Palace. Two people hospitalized. They are expected to be okay, but the driver was believed to be impaired. You don't yeah, say. Yeah, you don't say, man, because that doesn't just happen every day. Shocking. Yeah. Uh, the F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix first practice round took place last night. And even though the traffic's terrible and the trouble's been exhausting, this course looked absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. It looked gorgeous. They had the countdown on the sphere. Yep. Like, holy moly. The sphere looked bomb. Bomb. Yeah. Like, it, it, this looks like a video game. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And then the race began. It's like, wow, this is great. And then eight minutes in. A con the concrete around a manhole cover failed, and it severely damaged the car of car uh, driver Carlos Sainz. The second practice got severely delayed. They canceled the first practice eight minutes in. Yeah. The second practice got a really late start at 2.30 in the morning. Didn't end till 4 in the morning. I still don't know if the strip's open now. It might be at this point. Uh, practice three is set to take place this evening, qualifying at midnight. And then Saturday at 10 p.m., the race gets underway. But what a disaster. Yeah. Right out the gate, eight minutes in. And that guy, Max, that's been saying, oh, I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to be in Vegas doing this. It's 99% show, 1% race. And he's like, oh, well, I'm being kind of proven right. And he's like, gosh, I hate him. Yeah, Because he's right. I Ugh. know, I know. What a mess. I tried staying up, uh, and I fell asleep watching in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a late one. Mm -hmm. This is not really programming for Americans. This is programming for Europeans. Yeah, for sure. And we're just doing it on their time. Yep. So that is what it is. Worth noting, however, the betting for the race already set a record at Caesars for a Formula One race. So there's not a lot of Again, Formula One action. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're here, so that's to be expected. Stanley Cup champion, Vegas Golden Knights. We put up four in the second alone. High scoring game, high scoring victory against the Canadians in Montreal. 6 5 was your final. Shea Viador, four point game, had a goal and three assists. Knights improved to 13 3 and 1 the next game Saturday morning in Philly against the Flyers. The Raiders face the Dolphins in Miami on Sunday morning. <laughs> Back to F1 for a second course and surrounding streets going to be closed from 5 p.m. to 4 a.m. Be careful driving over manholes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's going to be happening today and tomorrow. And then uh, Koval is closed between Harmon and Rochelle through November 25th. Las Vegas weather. It is currently 49 degrees. It's a high of 64, kind of like yesterday. Not as many clouds as yesterday, but still, if there is rain somewhere happening yeah. in the next couple days. So I'm here for it. Yeah. 
some somewhere. Because if it's not the rain that's going to make them crash, it's the manholes. <laughs> <laughs> so, one way or another. And if it's not them, it's those guys trying to hand you the cards. <laughs> yeah. They're going to end up on there. Uh, and by the way, uh, yeah, there's a chance of rain throughout the weekend. Brian had resorts open. Oh, Brian awesome. Head is open for business up there in Utah. Uh, Lee Canyon, too warm to open yet. But the temps, once they come down, just yeah, a little bit more. Good. They get they're the going machines down. going. They're going down. They're going down. Just like all the cars. Mm-hmm. They're all going down. <laughs>